Now let's look at three variable Carnot maps. Here is our Carnot map with three variables A, B and C. In this Carnot map, the top row represents A equal to zero case and the bottom row represents A equal to one case. And the left two columns are represented by B not variable and the right two columns are represented by B variable. Similarly, the middle columns are represented by variable C. And these two columns, they are represented by C not. Okay, and I can write 0, 0, 0 here, 0, 0, 1 here, 0, 1, 1 here, 0, 1, 0 here. I have 1, 0, 0 here, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay, and then this is mean term 0, this is mean term 1, this is mean term 3, this is mean term 2, this is mean term 4, mean term 5, mean term 7, and mean term 6. So what you notice is that for the columns, I start from 0, 0, 0, 1, and instead of 1, 0, I said 1, 1. Then I said 1, 0. Why did we follow this order? 0, 0, 0, 1. 1 1 and 1 0. We follow this order because in the Carnot map if I would like to do grouping I need to make sure only one bit is changing between the neighbor cells. As you see here from 0 0 to 0 1 only this bit is changing right and then from 0 1 to 1 1 only the left bit is changing and from 1 1 to 1 0 only right bit is changing so by following this order we make sure only one bit is changing between the neighbor cells so if we satisfy these conditions then we can simplify right so this helps us to simplify our functions let's see for example 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 right so this is b not c not b not c b and c and b C not. Right? So if I group this, then it means I am doing B not C or B and C. Then I can take out C here. Then I will have B not here or B here. So this is one. Then I can simplify it, right? So by making sure only one bit is changing between the neighboring cells, I can group these cells and I can simplify otherwise I cannot simplify that's why we have to make sure we follow this order when we write our Carnot map so let's do an example with three variables so given f x y z equal to m5 or m7 so I can draw my three variable Carnot map so this is x this is y and z this is 0, this is 1. Our order is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. Now let's write our ones in the Carnot map. So we have a 1 in M5 and another one is M7. So M5 is 1, 0, 1, right? I have a 1 here and I have another 1 here, which is M7, this cell. All the other cells are, they are 0. Now, the rule was I start from the largest group. So the largest group is 8. Can I make group of 8? No, I cannot make a group of 8. And then the groups needs to be power of 2. Okay, so we can write another condition here group size needs to be power of 2 so this is another condition for us so can i make a group of 4 no but i can make a group of 2 right so the largest group that i can make is 2 so how do i represent these two cells right so i am interested in these two cells this row is x not this row is x and i need to know these two columns and these two columns are given by z so let's say these are z and these cells are x so how do i represent these two cells so these two cells is the intersection of x and z okay so then i can write here f is equal to x and z right so i simplified my function so original function was m5 and m7 so the original f it was x y not z or x y z right so this is m5 this is m7 and from this 
I want to this simplified function x and z, right? If I take out this x and z parentheses, that what I have left is y not or y. So this is one and f is equal to x and z. So instead of doing these operations, I just use the Carnot map to simplify this. So I don't have to draw my Carnot map like this, right? If I like, I can also do it like this. So I can say x, y, and this is z. So this is also possible. So this is another way of drawing this three variable Carnot map. So I have zero, zero here, zero, one here, one, one here, and one, zero here. So the order is important for us, right? And this is zero and one. These top two rows is represented by X naught and bottom two rows is represented by X. And this column is represented by Z naught and the right column is represented by Z. And the middle two rows are represented by Y and the top and bottom rows are represented by Y naught. Okay, so this is also possible. Let's do M5 and M7. Now M5 is here. Right, one zero one is M five and M seven is here one one one. So I can group this. So this is given by X and Z. So I got the same thing. If I use this type of three variable Carnot map, I can also get the same answer. So let's do one more example. So in this case, I am given an F function again X Y Z and mean terms two three. 4 and 5. So let's draw our Carnot map. So this is x, y and this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 and 0 and 1. So where is M2? M2 is 0, 1, 0. So this is 1. M3 is 0, 1, 1. So this is M3. So M4 is 1, 0, 0. So M5 is 1, 0, 1, which is here. Now let's group these ones. So I cannot make group of 8. I cannot make group of 4. But I can make group of 2, right? So this is one group and this is another group. And this group is represented by X naught Y. And this group is represented by X Y naught. So our simplified function is x naught y or x y naught because we have two groups so we will have two terms. Now let's continue our examples. Again we are given a function with three variables a, b, c and in this case we have mean terms 3, 4, 6 and 7. So and we are asked to simplify this function. So the first thing we will do, we will draw our three variable Carnot map and I have A here and B and C here, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. And where is 3? 3, 0, 1, 1. So this is M3. Where is M4? 1, 0, 0. So this is M4. Where is M6? 1, 1, 0, right? So this is M6 and M7 is here. So we have these four ones and the remaining cells are zero. Now I need to make grouping. So can I make a group of eight? No. Can I make group of four? No. But I can make group of two. And I need to cover all the ones. So this is one group, right? And this is another group, right? So make sure these two columns are neighbors, right? Why? Because we have zero, zero and one, zero. So there is only one bit is changing here. So these two columns also neighbors and I can make a grouping here, right? So note that I could have done a grouping like this as well, right? But then in this case, I need to make another group with this one as well. So I will have three groups here. Instead, I have two groups in this representation. So I will prefer the first one, right? So this is simpler because I can cover all the ones with only two groups. So how do I represent this group? This group is B and C. And how do I represent the second group? So this group is given by, this is where A is one, A and where C is zero. C naught. So I can write the simplified function f is given by b and c or a c naught. Right. So this is the simplified function for this given f function. So let's do another example. We have three variables x and y and z. So in this case we are given mean terms 0, 2, 4, 5 and 6. 
So let's draw our three variable Carnot map. So M0 is here. This is M0. M2 is here. M4 is 100 zero zero here. M5 is here. M6 is 110 here, right? So can I make group of eight here? No. Can I make group of four? Yes, I can make a group of four because this and this will make one group. So how do I represent these four cells? These four cells is represented by Z naught, right? And then I need to cover one additional, a single one. So to cover this, I need to make the largest group that I can make to cover this one is two. So this is my other group. So this is where X is one and Y is zero. So my F function is X, Y naught or Z naught, right? So this is the simplified function. Let's make another example. So we are given this function F A naught C or A naught B or a, B not C, or B and C. So, and we are asked to simplify this F function. So, there are many ways to write the representation for this function. We can use min terms. We can use the truth table. So, let's use the min term. So, this is min term 5, right? And this will give me two things, right? This will give me A, B, C, and A not b c so this is min term 7 and this is min term 3 and this term will give me again it will give me a naught b and c or a naught b naught and c so this will give me m3 and this is m1 and for this term i will have a naught b c or a naught b and c naught so this is m3 right and this is m2 so for this function we have mean terms 1 2 3 5 and 7 okay now we can draw our Carnot map so where is m1 m1 is here where is m2 m2 is here where is m3 so this is m3 m5 one zero one here and m7 here so now i need to do grouping can i make group of eight no the largest i can do group of four so this four cells is represented by c and then i have left a single one and i can make a group of two here and this is represented by a naught b so my f function is a naught b or c 